What is up guys if you are new here I am Dr Apurva a medical graduate from India It is always challenging if you are asked to choose between studies and relationship In fact let me ask you what would you choose between relationships and studies Hmm a tough thing to decide In fact if you ask me right now when I am 25 years old or you can ask me when I turn 50 that what is the most important thing in your life I would say the relationships. Now these relationships could be with your parents, with your sister, your brother, your loved one, your life partner or it could be one of your best friend. Okay? Now think retrospectively, you might have faced many ups and downs in your life. What was the thing which brightened up your day? It would be someone who was very close to you. So one thing is for sure, you cannot compromise relationships at the cost of exams or The other way around is also true. You cannot compromise on your studies at the cost of relationships. Both are very much important. Now, balancing between relationships and studies is not a kid thing. It's not a laughing matter. In fact, it is never taught to us in schools, in high schools, even in medical colleges. Just knowing that the dopamine is released from the ventral tegmental area of the midbrain and it is going to stimulate the nucleus accumbens to give you the pleasure effects of the relationships, blah blah blah. It is not going to help you in the practical life. So, getting a practical approach and a real insight of how to balance studies and relationships will definitely help us. Here are some of the ways by which I think you can balance your life between studies and relationships. So number 1 is studying together in library. Now if you do this you are hitting two bulls eye with a single shot. You can spend a lot of time together and at the same time since you are in the library you will be disciplined enough to study. So I think this is the great way. Now the second one is time management and the exam time. Now if you manage time time will always respect you okay you should make a fixed amount of time to spare with your families and friend now if you fix that time your brain will be trained that okay this is my chill time this is my relaxing time and the dopamine release then will be soothing and relaxing for you and if you are near the exam definitely you need to focus on the exam more so at that time you can cut short this time but definitely the wait that i'll be back to my routine after the exams are over will ignite more and add more charm to your studies okay so definitely you can get back to the schedules when when your exams are over Now the third one is doing little things for each other guys this will take you a long way now little things could be as little as arranging a breakfast arranging for tea or coffee or maybe arranging for recharges for the mobile motivating each other helping each other and discussing tough topics together will add more charm to your studies now i can understand how tough could be balancing your studies and relationships but if you consciously think about this and make an effort to make your life much more better i think this is the best way you can work around i think that was all about it share your more views and ideas about how you can balance your life between studies and relationships in the comment section below okay i'll not say you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for the regular notification of my channel it's all up to you Have a great day guys and good luck